latest buttons new. What's going on, guys? Richard Dark Me here, back with another tutorial video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to submit a ticket or report a glitch to Rockstar Support. Now, I've actually done this once before, uh, about a year and a half ago, not long after I started YouTube, and it is my most viewed video on my channel, and it's helped a lot of people. However, I'm not really happy with the quality that it turned out to be, so I'm remaking it today. Plus, you know, it's 2018, might as well do a uh, update on it anyway, just because a few things may have changed. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so what you're going to do is click the link down in the description below and it'll bring you to either this page or this page. If you're not signed in to with your social club account, it'll bring you in here. So go ahead and sign up with your social club account. And then it'll bring you to this page here. So what you want to go ahead and do is select your game that you are having the issue on. For me it was GTA Online. See, GTA 5 and GTA Online, but same game, but they separated. So that's pretty cool. Then you select the platform you are on playing it on. For me, Xbox One. The issue type for me is bug report. Are you able to still play the game? Yes or no. The people who say no, they can't play the game, they're gonna get a reply quicker. But be honest with it, alright? You want to put in your email here. If it's the email that your social public account that you just logged in with, then it will automatically put whatever link account you have right here. But um Whatever email you put here is the email that they're going to apply the ticket to. So keep an eye on that email right there. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I don't want to give my email away in this video. So right here is the description of the glitch. So you want to put as much detail as you can. Say if you're having a glitch issue, uh, you want to put in what exactly you were doing leading up to that glitch so they can figure it out a lot faster and help you out a lot faster. And always be polite in this, alright? They you don't want they're not gonna want to help a dickhead, so <laughs> be polite in it like I did. And then right here is where you put in any proof that you have. So say you were level 240 and a modder reset you to level 5 somehow. You could submit a screenshot of when you were level 240, so they know you're not lying, they know you're not making it up, and they can help you a lot faster as well. Once you have all that done, go ahead and click submit ticket. It may take a few seconds, and then what it will do is bring you this page here, my activities, and my requests, and you have every single ticket that you have ever submitted is going to be right here. And uh, you should be able to see any reply that they give you on this page as well. So you can either keep an eye on your email that you sent, sent in right here, or you could come to this page and see if they reply to it or both. But that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Now, do us all a favor, now that you know how to do this. Submit a fucking ticket about their damn servers, alright? Because we all know the servers are getting shittier and shittier after every single update, alright? So please, for the love of God, everybody submit a ticket on that issue, so they will actually do fucking something about it. But, um, anyways, guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. Pretty simple. Pretty easy to do. I hope this did help you guys out. I hope this video is better quality than my first one. If you guys did find this helpful, do leave a like down below. It would be much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new for more GTA content and other content. And yeah, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.